Feel Good Friday, August 30th, 611. What's what's so feel good about it? Well, you got a three-day weekend for a lot of people. Uh, the weather is going to be picture perfect. Well, Couldn't ask for any better. But today? No, what? Huh? Sunday's a little... All right. Well, you know, it's a little blip in the radar. But you got so many days. <laughs> right. Who you got cares? three days. One out of three isn't bad. <laughs> That's like kids. You get three kids. One's a rotten one. Hey, you get two others. <laughs> All right. So because this is like the barbecue weekend, um, a lot of people are going to be having barbecues. And my girlfriends, Wayne and Scott, are no exception to that. So uh, I have been tasked with bringing coleslaw. That's it? I have to, I was going to make it. Oh, you're it. Ma- oh, wow. See? Changes, <laughs> doesn't it? Yes, it does. So, m- growing up, my mom, I thought, made the best coleslaw in the entire world. It was not mayonnaise-based. And this is what I'm thinking, maybe a five call says it all later on this morning. But do you like coleslaw, first of all? Uh, Yeah. For the most part. Okay, that's a, not an enthusiastic. It's not, that's it's, a, it's not that's a, a, it's if not it's a, there, you'll eat it yeah, kind of thing. It's not a, oh my God, coleslaw, I love it. No, <laughs> it's just like, oh, cool. That goes very well with my But my you seafood. will eat it, yeah, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So there are two kinds of coleslaws. There's a vinegar-based Ooh, dressing. No, no, no. So you're a mayo-based dressing oh, guy. Yeah. yeah, see, I'm a vinegar-based dressing gal. La- my mom used to make one that was uh, like a sugary vinegar, like sweet and sour almost. And Ugh. it was, oh, my God. It was so it good. It must obviously look different, too. It's just, I mean, coleslaw is coleslaw. It's cabbage and carrots well, yeah, or but whatever. I, but, I mean, but it, it, the, the coleslaw that I normally have has a mayonnaise look to it. Yes, this does not. That's what I'm saying, yeah. <laughs> yeah. New Purdue, <laughs> no mayonnaise look to this. But it's really, really good. So... Um, that's what I started thinking about because I was looking up recipes for a vinegar-based uh, coleslaw. And mm-hmm. there's a thousand of them. I mean, it's not like it's a highly unusual coleslaw. Nobody. Right. So you're at Mayo, uh, staunchly. <laughs> mayo. I'm just going to put you down as the first. Five calls says it all. So you are Mayo, Jeffrey. Well, I'm not in this run. And I'm in vinegar. I don't so we know. only need three calls. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just writing that down as research. Okay. Um, I don't know if, uh, if I don't know. That's why I want to do a five calls. Like, I don't okay. know if I'm unusual or if I'm, I'm the tastemaker. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're the tastemaker. That's right. Call her the tastemaker. Please. That would like, be awesome. She's like the Willy Wonka of, uh, <laughs> of coleslaw. Of coleslaw. <laughs> you get a cabbage head and you get a cabbage head. No, that's the Oprah of coleslaw. Whatever. <laughs> oh, okay. It's Feel Good Friday on the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff. 94.9 HOM. You're listening to the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff on a Feel Good Friday. 94.9 HOM. Five calls says it all on the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff. Want to know, as you head back to school and ship off the kids, kids are just accident prone. But have you ever broken a bone, either as a child or as a as a grown up? I've only broken one tiny little bone in my finger, my left hand, top knuckle. Big deal. It was. It hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, I have not broken any kind of major bone. Yeah, I've never broken a bone. Nothing? No. All right. How about you? Five calls says it all. 800-228-1949. Five calls. Have you broken a bone? I've never broken a bone. I had a stitch. You've had stitches, but no bone broken. No stitches and no broken oh, bones. No stitches and no... Holy cow. That's impressive. <laughs> No. I didn't watch other people hurt themselves. <laughs> Do you wrap yourself in bubble wrap to yeah, get out your day? I, I literally don't know how you how you did that. That's very impressive. Five calls. Have you ever broken a bone? Oh yes, in my hand. In your hand? Oh, that had to hurt. Broke two fingers. Oh, uh, very badly. Are they okay now? I have ninety nine percent use of them now. Hey, well, I'll take ninety nine percent. All right, thank you very much. Five calls. Have you ever broken a bone? We're tied. I have never broken a bone, and I have four kids, but none of them have ever broken a bone. Wow. Okay. Does that count twice? Yeah. No. No. But I am going to right now. I'm. I'm knocking on wood for you right now, okay? Because that's imp- <laughs> that is impressive. All right, thank you very much. All right, these careful little mainers out there. <laughs> Five calls. Have you ever broken a bone? 
Hey, it's my first five calls. All right, cool. Um, yes, and I have a broken foot right now. Oh, no. How'd you break it? Three years ago, the kids wanted to put the trampoline next to the pool, and I said, absolutely not, unless I try it first. Oh, no. Um, so <laughs> one backflip later completely shattered my fibula. Oh, God. Um, and, then, and then, ironically enough, we were at the trampoline park on Friday, <gasps> and uh, I was just watching. Yes, yeah, smart. Time, and the kids were like, come, come jump. And oh. Like, oh, great. Yeah. So I went, I went and paid the thirty dollars to jump, and oh. then immediately shattered my foot. Uh. Oh God! And this is your first five calls, and it's a doozy. <laughs> 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 well, thank you, thank you for calling. We appreciate it. You tied it up. All right, a true this is it. five calls says it all. <laughs> five calls. Have you ever broken a bone? Never. <gasps> and I'm fifty-five. Wow. Oh, well done, well done. That poor bastard that just called. He can't. <laughs> I was even ejected from a car in 2006. Oh, didn't wow. Oh, well, glad you're with us. <laughs> Holy, yeah, right? Yeah, no kidding. Wow. Okay, you tipped it over to that no one has ever broken a bone in Maine. <laughs> it's Feel Good Friday on the best mix of the 80s, 90s, and today. 94.9 HOM. You're listening to the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff on a Feel Good Friday. 94.9 HOM. And now it's time for your daily distractions. <laughs> Do you know what I just realized? What? It's payday! <laughs> <laughs> it's already gone! <laughs> yeah, mine too, but still! It was there to leave. All right. <laughs> distractions brought to you by the Bill Dodge Auto Group, home of the money saving Bill Dodge Rewards Program. When you buy from Bill Dodge, they reward you with perks, points, and benefits, giving discounts and money back to customers. That's the Bill Dodge difference online at BillDodgeAutoGroup.com. Let's start off with some good news. A lemonade stand in Virginia. All right, it's bad then good, okay? <laughs> a lemonade stand <laughs> in Virginia that's run by children was robbed by some rando adult, and the thief got away with about $40 in cash. Days later, bikers, motorcyclists, and the community came together and helped the stand r- make $6,200. This is crazy. This is... This is we had this, and what, the last one was the ice cream stand, The right? ice cream stand. Some kid got shut down by the Norwood, Massachusetts <laughs> City Health Board or something, and so they ended up just giving the kid $20,000. Here you go. The ice cream's pretty good, too. <laughs> Keep it. Um, okay. There is, a, and this is an actual thing, um, that Wendy's is, is going to do. They're working with Paramount and teaming up to come up with a real life Krabby Patty from S- SpongeBob SquarePants. Because as we all know, Wendy's burgers are square and that sponge is square. <laughs> <laughs> So, so look for that soon. Bit of a stretch, but I got you. <laughs> um, hey, you want hey. A, want a fun way to risk a punch in the mouth? <laughs> <laughs> Walk up to random people while filming them and say, "I heard about you." Like you're accusing them of something. Somebody did this because they're idiots. They did this at a grocery store in Georgia, and people did not appreciate it. I heard about you. You ain't heard about me. Yeah, I heard about you. What you hear about me? I heard all about you. You ain't heard nothing about me. I heard about you. You better get out of my face. Well, okay, TikTok. <laughs> hey, hey, you. I heard about you. What you hear? Don't worry about what I heard, but I heard about you. Girl, get up out my face. <laughs> Honest to God, do people have nothing better no. to do with their lives? But, but, but look, like, we're talking about them. I, That's what they want. N- no, I'm talking about them to shame them. <laughs> that is still same deal. Here's something you might want to try on your Labor Day cookout. Gator wine. It's trending. And yes, it's Gatorade and wine. The specific recipe is equal parts light blue glacier freeze Gatorade and any cheap wine that's less than $12 a bottle. (laughs) That's easy. Uh, That's disgusting. ABBA and White Stripes are the latest music acts to ask Donald Trump to stop using their music. Jack White is even threatening a lawsuit. He's saying, uh, hey, listen, if you keep doing that, I'm going to see your pants. Mm-hmm. And the list is pretty long, actually, of artists that are like, no, 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 no. Uh, 
Check out the trailer for the Rosemary's Baby prequel called Apartment 7A, produced by uh, John Krasinski. A quiet he's, place. All of a sudden, he's directing everything. I love it. Not directing. Uh, well, or producing. producing. Um, like he's got that. He's is, got the A Quiet Place. He's got. Yeah, he's, I mean, all. he's all. He's all. Our little boy from the office has <laughs> grown up. But I just watched the trailer for Rosemary's Baby's prequel, Apartment 7. Oh my God, I'm not going to any theater to see that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, thank you. And Caitlin, your final distraction this morning. Caitlin uh, Clark's who is the phenom woman basketball player that she plays for Indiana, I think. Her reaction when a teammate... (laughs) Her reaction is priceless. When a teammate said in a post-game press conference, uh, you know, just talking about the game, she said, her teammate said, I want to get my hands on as many balls as I could. And Caitlin just... She tried to let it go and then yeah, just started just busting up. Like, right, did you just say that in your out loud voice? Basketballs. <laughs> <laughs> it's Feel Good Friday on the best mix of the 80s, 90s, and today. 94.9 HOM. It's another Feel Good Friday with Lori and Jeff on 94.9 HOM. The A-Best Window Ticket Window is now open. We're back at school. There's so much to do. Learn reading and writing. Math and science, too. Gonna make new friends. See my good friends again. Our school is really cool. We're happy to be back at school. <laughs> Some, Are we, though? Somebody is. <laughs> there's a lot of, there's a lot of under your breath cheering going on. <laughs> well, enjoy this final weekend of Funtown Splashdown. It is First Responders Appreciation Weekend. You get in free if you're a first responder and 10 bucks off your ticket if you're related to that first responder. But if you want a four pack of tickets, combo passes to Funtown Splashdown for this weekend, the final weekend, you gotta take our back to school quiz at 800-228 one nine four nine. Get two out of three right of fifth grade questions and you're going to fun town. Just that easy. 800-228-1949. A few people have been embarrassed a little bit by missing one of the fifth grade <laughs> and questions. And that's our fun. But that's okay. <laughs> because if that didn't happen, this would be a little boring. <laughs> 800-228-1949 for the final pair of, I'm um, sorry, final four pack of tickets to fun town slash town. Hi, HOM. Who is this? My name's Erin. Good morning, Aaron. How are you? Good. How are you? Oh, I'm great. It's Friday of of Labor Day weekend. Yes, yeah, so excited. Right. Okay. Well, you're going to be even more excited if you win this four pack of tickets, combo passes to Fun Town Splashdown. Are you ready to take our back to school quiz? Let's see what happens. <laughs> What's your confidence level right about now? <laughs> oh, I heard it. It's a zero. <laughs> all right, Aaron, I, I have full. I, 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 you got this. All right. What okay. is the capital of France? What is the capital of France? Uh, England. We have a town uh, <laughs> named after it in in this state. <laughs> okay, oh, Paris. Yeah, there, there you is. go. There you go. All right. Well. Okay, well that's but you still got you have you still have a chance to pick up that four pack of tickets. All right, here we go. If <laughs> it's a math problem, <laughs> oh God. hey, listen, I just went through fifth grade quite. These are just randos, okay? If a backyard is fifty feet long and twenty feet wide, how many square feet is that yard? Uh. Okay, so a thousand square feet. Yes, the, well done. That's exactly what it is. Oh, I'm very excited for you. All right, for the win. Great comeback from England being the capital of France. All right, this is it. This is it. What gas do humans need to live? Oxygen. Oxygen. Yes. 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 Woo! Congratulations. Your Thank confidence you. level should be out of the chart. With, with the exception of England. Except for that whole thing where England is the capital of France. You nailed this quiz. Hey, Aaron, you hang on. We're going to get all your information and set you up with a four-pack of combo passes for the final weekend of Fun Town Splash Town. Stay right there. <laughs> it's Feel Good Friday on the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff. 94.9 HOM. Thank <laughs> you.
You're listening to the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff on a Feel Good Friday, 94.9 HOM. And now it's time for Coffee with Uncle Nicky. Stay tuned for the good stuff. <laughs> Lori and Jeff on the HOM Morning Show. Good morning and welcome to this segment brought to you by White Mountain Overhead Door. That's all you got this time? <laughs> You're going to scale back on this sponsorship. You don't <laughs> spiff it up a little there, Uncle Nicky. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good morning, Uncle Nicky. Good morning, everybody. I talked to Aunt Barbara, your lovely wife. We were chatting about her visit. She's coming out the end of September to say hi. She was telling me that you're kind of a reserved guy. You know, you're not one of those that kind of goes on and on about, you know, oh, I love you so much, or I love... Th That's right. That's the kind of environment I grew up in. That's the way I am. Totally respectable, totally understand. But yeah. she said that you got really excited about Neil from Melbourne, Australia, is a listener, and he loves you. Yeah, right. I found that uh, amazing that that would be that way. As we do also, yeah, Jeff's right. I have sent him a Coffee with Uncle Nicky t-shirt to Australia. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. dollars later. <laughs> <laughs> is Neil asleep at this time? Neil's uh, about to head to bed at this time. He is getting ready. He makes sure that he stays up for this segment. Oh, wow. Hi, Neil. Good morning. Most of us pronounce it Melbourne, but he has yelled at me for saying it because that's not how you pronounce it. You pronounce it Melbourne. Melbourne, Australia. Do you have any questions? Uh, yeah, that's... Uh Totally incorrect. It's <laughs> Melbourne. <laughs> if you're going to be an Aussie, uh, you better learn how to speak right. <laughs> oh, no, God. You, you can be replaced by a didgeridoo. A didgeridoo. <laughs> do, you, do you have any other uh, questions or criticisms of, of our friend Neil in Australia? I'm curious to know what does Neil do to earn his money? Ah, all right, Neil. What do you do for a living? Neil often calls us. He'll send a message on Facebook or he'll use our oh, app. Okay. I, he's very, very active on the show, Uncle Nicky. I don't know how the hell he found us. He's more active on the show than you are, Uncle Nicky. <laughs> wow. Cool. <laughs> and you both get paid the same amount. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so you got any big plans for the long holiday weekend? Yeah, survive it. Anything on the grill for the Labor Day weekend? Uh, no, tell you the truth. We haven't used the grill at all. So you're hitting all the steakhouses. Yeah. <laughs> As a matter of fact, yesterday we went to Longhorn. They must know you very well there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. All I got to do is lift my T-shirt and raise my arms, and they'll recognize me immediately. <laughs> oh All right. Suddenly the place empties out. And now you know why it's only Aunt Barb coming. <laughs> my favorite uncle. I love you. Talk to you next week, Uncle Nicky. Okay, thanks for the warning. Bye-bye. It's Feel Good Friday on the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff. 94.9 HOM. You're listening to the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff on a Feel Good Friday. 94.9 HOM. And it's time for Don't Judge on the best mix of the 80s, 90s, and today. 94.9 HOM. Okay, what is this Feel Good Friday news for you today? It is a Feel Good Friday, all being brought to you by A Best Window, manufactured in Maine by Maine Craftsmen to handle Maine's unique weather. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you That's ding? a ding for you. Got it all right. <laughs> I get it right most of the time. You gonna ding me all the time? I'll ding you. <laughs> Listen, let us know the good. Let us know the good news before I punch Jeff. <laughs> You can let us know on Facebook, on the HOM app, or call us up at 800-228-1949. I love this. Uh, Jackie says, my girl is coming home from college, and then she has the gif of Elaine and Jerry and George when they all see each other, and they're all doing the little happy dance oh, in the yeah. doorway of his apartment. It's so cute. Uh, Nancy says, my 17-year-old grandson is graduating from boot camp today in Oklahoma and heading back tomorrow. He's been gone since Father's Day. I'm so proud of him. That's awesome. What's your feel-good news on this Feel Good Friday? 800-228-1949. Don't judge. What's your feel-good Friday news? Oh, we have successfully 
but made it through the summer. No one died, and we gave the children back to the school. <laughs> Woo! Take them out. Take them back. back. And they are back. <laughs> Caffeinated Nikki. Uh, congratulations for making it You're through. Welcome. Through and, the entire and, season. And everyone's alive. That, and everyone everyone's made it. nobody died. Okay, wait, 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 wait. If that's where you're setting your bar. Yeah, hang on. We got to, <laughs> if that's the bar, do, how many, did anybody lose a limb? <laughs> no one lost the limb no that wasn't was already limb. supposed to lose a limb. Bro- broken bones, any 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 hospital <laughs> ER checks in, check-ins? <laughs> nobody, no, no camper or camp. Hospitalization. That's amazing. Yes, that's that's uh, wonderful. Very, Some very emotional very... band aids. Emotional band aids may have been necessary, but we all made it through. <laughs> you, you know what, Nikki? You are our emotional band aid. Okay. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> uh, have a lovely, lovely three day weekend, and remember. I hope no one dies. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Nikki. All right, what is your feel good Friday? Don't judge. Good news. <laughs> Let us it know. wouldn't be a feel good Friday without uh, Nikki. Oh, Haley. Uh, Haley Hatch, who cur- calls herself Hurricane Haley, uh, is going to Fun Town nice. on us. Hey. Congratulations on winning those tickets. All right, what's your feel good Friday? Good news. Let us know on Facebook on the HOM app or call us up and share 800 228 1949. Don't judge. It's Feel Good Friday on the best mix of the 80s, 90s, and today. 94.9 HOM. You're listening to the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff on a Feel Good Friday. 94.9 HOM. Five calls says it all on the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff. We want to know, and I, coleslaw. Vinegar-based dressing or mayo-based dressing? If now, you like coleslaw. Exactly. If you so, don't like coleslaw, yeah, we're good. Don't, don't play. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't call us up on, on a feel-good Friday to bitch about the fact you hate coleslaw, okay? <laughs> we get it. Just throwing it out there. Coleslaw's not everybody's jam, all right? But if Ooh, you jam. do like coleslaw... Do you like the vinegar-based dressing for coleslaw or the mayo-based dressing for coleslaw? One has a white kind of... Mayonnaise look. Yeah, and the other one doesn't. it's got mayonnaise. (laughs) The other one, you don't see anything because it's vinegar. Why are we doing this? Because I am heading to a uh, barbecue this weekend uh, with my girlfriends, Wayne and Scott, and they have requested that I make either baked beans or coleslaw. I've never made baked beans before. I've never made coleslaw before. <laughs> so Just crack a can I open don't want, baked I don't beans, even want to go. attempt the, the, the baked beans, so I said I'd attempt the coleslaw and it's and I'm doing a vinegar based dressing. All right, that's the five calls. Five calls. Did have you uh do mayonnaise vinegar or coleslaw ba- based vinegar? Ba- no. Ba- no. I'm getting this backwards. Mayonnaise or vinegar based coleslaw. There you go. <laughs> Uh, okay, fine. Yeah, that's the All right, right answer. We're moving on. That is the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, have a great weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I will with my vinegar-based coleslaw. <laughs> Five Bye. calls: mayonnaise or vinegar-based coleslaw. Mayonnaise. That is oh, the right no, answer. No, You're going to lose dude. this with a clean sweep, Vargas. Oh no. Where's my ma- where's my vinegar people? <laughs> Thank you very much. You. And it comes down to this because oh, all no. the world likes mayonnaise vinegar. I keep saying vinegar. Five vinegar. calls: mayonnaise or vinegar-based coleslaw. Mayonnaise. Oh my, my recipe, god! My my recipe has two tablespoons of vinegar in it, though. Okay, well, I listen to you. You are too darn cute for your own good. You know that? You are so sweet. She's uh, telling her coleslaw. It doesn't count because it has mayonnaise in it. <laughs> <laughs> I pre- Thank you very much. May you have a lovely, lovely weekend. And I shall Lord. sit all alone with my vinegar paste to coleslaw. <laughs> what? <laughs> the vinegar breaks down the slight sugar you have for the sweet taste in the mayonnaise base. I use sugar in the vinegar based coleslaw. Just a little bit. No, a, a lot of it. <laughs> 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 My coleslaw's like candy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Peanut brittle coleslaw. Sweet and crunchy. Oh, I love it. Thanks. Have a great weekend. <laughs> it's Feel Good Friday on the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff. 94.9 HOM. 
You're listening to the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff on a Feel Good Friday, 94.9 HOM. We've got WMTW's Jessica Gagne on the line with us, and that's what makes it a Feel Good Friday. Good morning, Jess. Good morning. How are you guys doing ahead of this long weekend? Oh, we're great. So Counting we're, the time till it's here. <laughs> tick, tick, ticky, ticky, <laughs> tock, tock. So we were chatting because I'm going to a barbecue with friends, and I've been assigned to bring a coleslaw. And these are uh, two gay boys who like to homemade stuff, so I can't just go to Shaw's. So, um... I'm making coleslaw, and I'm going to make a vinegar-based dressing. And so we asked our listeners, vinegar-based or mayo-based, and I got my ass handed to me. Yeah, do you know where you are? <laughs> okay, right. welcome. All it's right. mayo-based coleslaw all the way. Okay, fine. I've never fine. seen a vinegar-based oh coleslaw. Oh, my God. In a Hannaford yep. and a Markham. Oh, I've never. my God. Come on. Same. <laughs> what it's a- good. I've had it before. It's good, but I'm saying, know your audience, Lori. Okay. And if you have neighbors, <laughs> you're going to want to bring them in. <laughs> ah. Jessica, you might have just made our promo. <laughs> <laughs> Killing it on this field of <laughs> Making Lori feel bad. <laughs> All right. That's the goal of the promos, right? <laughs> that is so true. All right. So uh, on this Feel Good Friday, we're uh, talking to Jessica Gagne from WMTW. We always play a little game called Two Truths and a Lie. We're all going to tell you a story. One of us is lying. If you can pick out the liar at 800-228-1949, we'll set you up with $25 to Cowbell, where they have no vinegar-based coleslaw. <laughs> 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 it's in Westbrook at Rock Row. Um, I'll kick it off. Okay. Now, this is Lori. And um, let's see here. <laughs> all right. I am missing a finger on my right hand, but I hide it. It's my pinky. This is Jeff, and when I was in eighth grade, my mother thought it would be a good idea for me to get a perm, like a hair perm. I'm like, okay, and then went to school and got mercilessly teased because I looked like a girl. And this is Jess, and I have been on stage at a Bon Jovi concert. Okay, which one of us is lying? 800-228-1949. To recap, Lori has a pinky missing from her right hand but hides it. Jeff had a perm in the eighth grade and was teased because he looked like a girl. There and, is a picture of it somewhere. And Jessica has uh, and Jessica has been on stage at a Bon Jovi concert. Pick out the liar, win 25 bucks to Cowbell. 800-228-1949. Hi, HOM. Who's the liar? Lori, me, or Jessica? I think it's Lori. That is correct. I have all fingers. (laughs) (laughs) I'm glad you do. (laughs) So, but that is, first of all, what's your name? My name is Leslie. Leslie, Leslie. congratulations. You've got yourself 25 bucks to Cowbell. Now, can you hang on a second? Because I got to find out. Um, uh, uh, not about Jeff and his perm. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to know, Jessica Gagne from WMTW, you were on stage at a Bon Jovi concert? Yes, and I don't know if I've ever told you guys about this, but it's coming up on the 20-year anniversary of it happening. And how it happened was I was getting ready for Biddeford High School uh, morning, listening to my favorite radio station, the Q Morning Show, Aww. with Jeff and Lori. And you guys were doing a a Bon Jovi lyric. It was scrambled lyrics and you had to unscramble it and say the name of the song. And I happened to have a crush on a guy who was obsessed with Bon Jovi. So I knew every single song. So <laughs> as soon as the lyric came on, I was like, oh my God, I know this. I ran to the, my clueless phone. I had a clueless phone. And I called in and I'm waiting. And like four people ahead of me kept getting one word wrong. And I got on the radio and I got it right. And I won the tickets from you guys. So I got to bring the guy. Oh I brought him to the concert. He still wouldn't date me, by the way. But I brought <laughs> <laughs> and he, he, we're still friends. He says it was one of the, you know, greatest moments of his life. We both got to go on stage because of you guys. So I, oh I never told you that, but that was 20 years ago. God, that <laughs> is, you, you owe me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Jessica, that is the greatest that story. Crazy? Oh we, my God. That's... You guys have been doing it right for more than 20 years. So <laughs> just a little God. reminder. And, but what's really sad is that you were a child. Basically, <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Oh, just it's good and bad oh, all rolled into one. Yeah, making you feel nice and young. <laughs> that, <laughs> that just made my entire long weekend. Yay. Jessica, thank you so much for of for course. this feel good Friday segment. We'll we'll chat again next Friday and let's in twenty years. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Leslie, you hang on. We'll get you all set up with the, I had to hear that story. That's a fantastic story. We'll get you set up with your 25 bucks to cowbell. Oh, wow. What a story. It's Feel Good Friday <laughs> on the best mix of the 80s, 90s, and today. 94.9 HOM. <laughs> This is the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff, 94.9 HOM. So yesterday I had lunch um, with a friend downtown and we grabbed our little uh, our little poke and bowl. I don't know, it's just rice and stuff. Anyway, and we went to, there's an area in the old port um, between, like in front of, that they've blocked off now to traffic. It's a cobblestone street and they've set up picnic tables mm-hmm. and you can, it's right by Commercial Street and you can go there and have lunch and we were sitting there. And there was a cellist, a guy playing a cello with some background music while we were eating. And it was delightful. He was wonderful. And I instantly assumed it was a scam because (laughs) of the time I was scammed by the dude playing a violin in front of Shaw's and Falmouth. I just as... What happened there? Oh, he's not playing. He's playing like a... CD of oh, and he's just making and he's doing just the making motions. he's making the motions. Yeah. So I'm watching this guy like a hawk because I'm thinking, oh no, you don't, buddy boy. <laughs> oh no, where's, you don't. Where's your speaker? Yeah, where's that's your... right. No, uh, uh, uh. and he literally was honest to God playing it, and it, he was amazing, and it was really great. Yep. And I'm a Tainted, tainted woman now for even. Lori Vornis, fool her once and then fool her again. Yeah, and then, it, but, but by the seventh time, look out! It's Feel Good Friday on the HOM Morning Show with Lori and Jeff, 94.9 HOM. It's another Feel Good Friday with Lori and Jeff on 94.9 HOM. That's the show. What did we learn today, Lori? Wow, wow, wow. We learned that Jessica Gagne from WMTW was on stage at a Bon Jovi concert thanks to you and me getting her tickets when we were on the queue 20 years ago. She won these tickets and it apparently included an onstage appearance with Bon Jovi. She must Uh, have been like 13 at the the time. The good old days. Yeah, no kidding. (laughs) No kidding. Yeah, we also learned... At least I I like her taste in music, though. She was a child. (laughs) We also learned that no one's going to eat my vinegar-based dressing coleslaw when I bring it to the barbecue I'm going to this weekend because everybody likes the mayo-based dressing. As Jessica said so eloquently to you when we were talking with her, know your audience. I, (laughs) I know me, and I like this, and if you don't like it... Well, I'm going to have 80 pounds still, of coleslaw Still to eat. shocked that not a single person <laughs> likes it. Not, I haven't heard from one person who's even heard of it. <laughs> it's Feel Good Friday on the best mix of the 80s, 90s, and today. 94.9 HOM.